or before 5.50 p.m. Pick up sliced seats and Watson deli meat, freshly made Italian bread, and Lewis dairy milk. All right, it's 7.43, so, you know, we used to be big HLN fans in our house. Mm -hmm. Me too. And we haven't watched in a while. I know they have all new shows on there or whatever. But you can get all this stuff in other places, and Court TV has kind of taken over um, the HLN old school way, like the way HLN used to be with Nancy Grace and Jane Velez Mitchell and, you know, Vinny Politan. Now Vinny Politan's on Court TV. Mm -hmm. So we kind of get like that fix watching Court TV. But Nancy Grace, she does a podcast, a crime podcast, and she has a website and stuff, and she still shares the stories on there, has all the, the... you know, some people big time criminal stories and ki- kidnapping and kids yeah, and all they that. They would talk about her like again being over the top, asking the same question over and over, prying, yeah. um, just being too much. But I like her. No, we used to watch Nancy Grace all the time. I like her. So she has an update on Brian Laundry on her website. Oh boy. Okay, crime. It's crimeonline.com, and again, she does uh, crime stories with Nancy Grace, which is a podcast. Um, and here's this story, which is crazy. The headline is right-handed, right-handed, Brian Laundry, his self-inflicted fatal bullet entered the left side of his skull. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so right away, if he's right-handed and they say that he committed suicide, it will be on the right side of his skull, right? He wouldn't be holding the gun in his left hand, you hold it in your right hand. So how's he going to do do that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Authorities in Florida have released an autopsy and forensic reports on Brian Laundry, who was found dead with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head uh, at a Florida nature reserve this fall. When Laundry 23 was found dead uh, of an apparent suicide, police have been searching for him in connection with the death of his girlfriend, Gabby Petito. And the world was following that whole yeah. story whose remains were found in Wyoming's uh, Grand Teton National Forest in September. Police were never able to speak to Laundrie before his death. As Crime Online previously reported, Laundrie and Petito set out for a cross-country road trip in early summer of 2020, and Laundrie returned to his parents' Northport, Florida home without Petito September the 1st. By that time, Petito's family had become, you know, concerned about their daughter's well-being, but were unable to file a formal missing persons report until September the 11th. Petito's parents have said that Laundry family did not return calls and messages during the time Petito's worried family was trying to reach her. Uh, for weeks before the skeletal remains were discovered within the Carlton Nature Reserve on October the 20th, just over a month after Petito's body was found, police have been searching the Nature Reserve for Laundry. The newly released documents show that Laundry's skeletal remains and personal uh, effects were in plain sight and scattered upon the dirt ground. At a scene that, quote, included trees and overgrown vegetation that had total exposure to the outside elements. A wind, uh, a winding, walking, and vehicular trail ran in a north-northeast direction up and through the scene. It's not immediately clear from the report how or why investigators did not discover the remains earlier. The documents strongly indicate Laundry died sometime before his body was found as there was no soft tissue left on the skeleton. And state that multiple uh, long bones, included bones of the arms and legs, all disclose a carnivore um, predation activity characterized by gnawing and chewing. So they're saying like animals and, you know, whatever. Uh, Investigators reportedly believe that wild dogs, coyotes were among animal predators. Mm. Now, the medical examiner's report shows that Brian Laundrie killed himself with a single bullet, which entered his skull. On the left side. Okay, this is the the ticket right here. Okay. The documents show that Laundrie's uh, sister confirmed to investigators Laundrie was right-handed. Okay. Suggesting that Laundrie shot himself with his non-dominant hand. Or did he? Right. Investigators believe that Laundrie is responsible for Gabby Petito's strangulation death. Petito lost contact with her family in late August, suggesting that she, like Laundrie, may have been dead for weeks before investigators found her remains. So, is that odd that he shot right, himself? So, it is in the his... report that the gunshot wound is to the left side, the left skull, right? The Correct. Left side. Okay. Uh, the sister is coming out revealing that he is right-handed, so they would assume that if he had the weapon, 
he's using his right hand. Correct. But since it's on the left side, they're possibly saying, because I'm sure that they're still going to investigate, that he's using his non-dominant side to pull the trigger and kill himself. Yeah. But what, with his thumb? Is he like... I mean, you can hold a gun that way. You can. Yeah. Of course so. you can. But do you sign your name with your non-dominant hand? <clears throat> do you use right. your like left? if you're going. Like, I don't know. It just, it just, again, this just brings going, up questions. Right. No, they're, you know, doing the same thing. If, you know, what hand did they write with? How do they eat? Like, they look at all these different characteristics, and they're trying to figure out, okay, why did this day, did he decide he was going to use his non-dominant side? I don't know. It just brings up questions. <clears throat> so, 748. It's a Bill and Jessica show. Here's Bryson Tiller, Drake, out of time. Good morning. <laughs>